Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love read. For those of you that are new and excited to have you here, I am an energy channeler and so some of what you see will be traditional, some of it will not. Just take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. I'm getting a little energy of stubbornness here, okay? And so um, you might want to bring a little more play into your energy. Um, for those of you returning, thank you. It's because of your likes, shares, comments, subscription that new people are able to find the channel. If you'd like a personal reading, if you'd like to learn more about what I do for a living, my uh, books that I've written, all of that is down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, again, <laughs> when I say stubbornness, there's a wish here that you're very stubborn about, right? You're like, I only want it the way my heart wants it, period, Virgo. And you're like, that's it. It's going to be my way or the highway. Okay. But what that's doing, it's leaving you alone. Okay. Loneliness. Okay. Spirit's trying to give you this heart. And you're like, nope. Right? Look at that. I don't want it. Now, this could be reversed. Take it as it resonates for you. Okay. But... It feels like you. You're like, nope, I don't want it, right? I'm isolating myself, right? And maybe this individual that you're working with or this situation is like, okay, give me a space, all right? Uh, taking the high road. And that might be making you even more stubborn about wanting it your way. We are going to use the old school original layout here. I'm going to look at the uh, overview energy from the past that's still impacting the situation. Okay, we're going to look at um, current energies here and future possibilities. Okay, thank you. Underline, there we are. Hermit, okay. Yeah. You're like, nope, all my wishes are getting away from me. I'm in the storm. Okay. Overview energy, though, is that things are swift, swiftly changing is what they're telling me. Okay. I feel that uh, Leo season is going to be a big push towards pushing you towards your soul path. Okay. Uh, which may mean that it might not be easy. Okay, but it's definitely worth it. In the past, we've got a crossing energy here of Eight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like there was a lot of communication in the past. Let's see what that was. Oh, the lovers. Okay, a lot of communication. Ten of Cups. Okay, with a very powerful connection. Current energy here, we've got the Chariot. You may be just relying on friends right now, okay, to get you through things. Future possibilities, we've got the crossing energy of the Hierophant, okay. You may find the key to what's going on here, King of Swords, okay. Um, and the key is in the truth, okay. So let's clarify here. Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. All right. There's a dream here of, I feel like, taking this one pentacle and just magically expanding it into so much more. To get there, again, I feel like you know it's going to take a little bit of risk. It's going to take a little bit of releasing the old thought patterns and the old paradigms and moving forward with some new thought patterns, okay? We did have the uh, Knight of Swords on the bottom, and there's the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So I do feel like, again, you are starting here 
from one idea or one um, like this new harvest where you're going to develop your own new roots and that's why Leo season is going to be so productive for you. Now, this is timeless, so if you come upon this after Leo season, it just means that the next month, okay, is going to be very much about doing the work to get there to that sole purpose. Okay, the communication here in the past, King of Pentacles. Okay, you may have been communicating, again, we've got the King of and Queen of Pentacles here, right? So you could have been communicating with someone that uh, you were trying to almost like match up is what I'm getting here. Okay, there we've got the Knight of Pentacles, right? Because you didn't quite feel like there was even footing there. And so some of the communication may have been uh, a little bit trying to show up, like show off a little bit there, okay? The lovers, the empress, okay? I feel like there was a quietness here, a gentleness. Um, maybe even a lot of the communication was happening uh, at night, okay? Queen of Swords and the Magician. Could be that this, this person, okay, it's very interesting because the Magician and the Lovers are both very Gemini energy. And we've got the Queen of Swords and the Empress, very Libran energy. Could be that you were both in your heads, okay? Thinking about it, this Queen of Swords has put the cup away, right? The Empress is sleeping. There's a lot of mirroring going on. The Magician hasn't quite gotten there yet, right? Like there could have been a lot of thought process of how I'm gonna get there, but the communication was all pentacles, very basic, okay? current energy here, the chariot, okay, world in reverse. There's a part of you not wanting to, again, there's a stubbornness of not wanting to move forward, but things are moving regardless, okay. Somebody's holding on to this even if they appear to be releasing it. Okay, the star, holding on to that wish. Could be you, right? Because that's the stubbornness of the wish. Like, I'm holding on to this wish, even if it appears that it's being let go of. Okay, there's the four of pentacles. There's a refusal to let go of that aspect of, again, they're showing me the friendship energy here. You may be like, no, we're just friends. We're just friends, okay? And then I just realized we've got king and queen of swords here, as well as the king and queen of pentacles. So there could be a couple of couples involved in this. Okay, future possibility here, the hierophant. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Cups, okay? The key is that they're showing me there's this line of genes and it's like, they're not your mother's, they're not your mother's genes, right? Um, and I looked at them once and I was like, they really are mother's genes, right? Like, they got like a little pouch sucker inner thing. So you might be like saying to yourself, no, this couldn't be stable, right? But the key is realizing that what is 
right for you. It doesn't have to be what's right for somebody else or even what was right for you 10 years ago, okay? Because the King of Swords is looking backwards at the truth. Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, right? Perhaps what we kept at bay and just worked with on that pentacle status, right? Left a lot of overthinking issues here, right? We've got 10 of cups on the bottom. So I wanna clarify a little deeper. Tell me about this queen of pentacles, three of swords. Okay, that could be why page of swords, why you're moving forward, right? Is because you were hurt, high priestess. But you are trying to move something, manifest something from, right? The 5D energy of that pentacle into the 3D energy of something rooted. Ace of pentacles here. Okay, five of cups, but you're a little bit afraid of that. You're back and forth. Hot and cold, right? About actually taking this new beginning. King of pentacles and the knight of pentacles here. Yeah, it's the seven of cups. Okay. And it's interesting, they're showing me here on the bottom. I need my glasses. They want me to look clearly. Yeah, there's a crystal in this center cup. Okay. So there's this energy of what's driving you is very much this pentacle energy, this abundant energy, okay, or at least what was in the past, what was the manifestation here? It was hurting because it was moving so slow. There's the Knight of Swords, okay, Chariot in Reverse. It was moving so slow, right? The Empress is sleeping. The Queen of Swords has the cup put aside, right? Queen of Swords. Yeah, okay, Ten of Cups, but Four of Pentacles. Even the Ten of Cups in this deck looks kind of like a pentacle, right? And I feel like that's the aspect of making this energy of love be so much work okay world in reverse seven of swords okay there's still something very hidden that you are trying to manifest here right what's being held on to here the star this wish okay the two of pentacles that we can still work together but you're still Pentacles, pentacles, right? Four of pentacles. Mm -hmm. The Empress is opening up here. And it's really shifting your mind. Okay? The things that you are looking at from a different aspect is really blowing your mind here. It's almost like that's the secret. Like they let something out, Wah! right? And you're like, holy shit, what was that? Judgment. Yeah, 10 of pentacles in reverse. That's what destabilized you, okay? Whatever you heard or what was shared with you, it completely destabilized you because you were going along with this idea that I'm working towards the Ten of Pentacles, right? 
And now you realize that the idea that you had of what the Ten of Pentacles was doesn't even exist within this person's realm. Okay? Future possibility, Three of Pentacles here, Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? I don't feel like it ever went beyond friendship, right? You don't know how to do that. Knight of Swords, the Moon. You don't know how to choose that aspect here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. No. But the option to go through this door, right? Because we've got the Seven of Cups here. To choose this aspect that you didn't even know exists. That lights you up. There we've got the Nine of Cups again with Judgment. Seven of Cups here. Three of Cups. Okay. Yeah, this lights up your heart. I just feel like you are going to have to wrap your head around exactly what this means. But I don't think you can wrap your head around it if you're stubborn and refusing to have the conversation. Okay, let's see what the universe has here. <laughs> Again, right? There's the devil. No, I'm not going to see it. I'm not going to hear it. I'm not going to listen, right? But those little messages are eating away at that chain, right? Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Again, it's so slow. But there's a strength between these two energies. Heart strength here. And you really want to plant that one new pentacle. Yeah, okay. There's the King of Cups. And there's the Ace of Cups, right? But it's like, how do I get there? Well, you gotta, number one, quit being so stubborn. Okay. Again, all of this could be in reverse. Take it as it resonates for you. So let's go ahead and close it off with an oracle before I head over to Patreon. Okay, yeah. Again, the mountain, right? You're trying to get up there out of all of this emotion, right? Pentacle, pentacle, pentacle. I'm staying out of all this emotion, right? That's the only way I'll get clarity. But the clarity really is in this, this star, this wish. Why are you trying so hard to stay out of these emotions? When it feels like, right? There's the heart space. That's what you're wishing for. So, I hope that this helps you, Virgo. I hope you have a beautiful week. If this is where I leave you, much love and light. And if I'm going to have you over on Patreon, then I will see you there in a few minutes, okay? Much love, guys. Bye.